Probably the most overlooked and underappreciated feature in Pokemon Go has got to be Pokemon Showcases. In case you didn't know, you could pick yourself up a bunch of premium items for free by winning a bunch of Pokemon Showcases whenever they are active. However, it is extremely difficult to win a Pokemon Showcase, and the reason for that is because Niantic does not give you a lot of information regarding your entry compared to the other entries within that Pokemon Showcase. But there are a couple of tips and tricks that you can follow to win more showcases that I do want to talk about in this video. Alright, so with that said, let's get right into it. How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be talking about Pokemon Showcases, which is a feature that was added into Pokemon Go a couple of months ago, and a lot of players have been getting a lot of really good rewards through this feature. In case you didn't know, you could pick yourself up a lot of premium items like incubators and incense and lucky eggs basically for free by engaging with Pokemon Showcases and winning them often. However, there's not a lot of information regarding this feature, and there's not really that much discussion on how you could win more Pokemon showcases. Therefore, I wanted to make this video because there's a couple of things that I've been doing to win a lot more showcases that I feel like do not get discussed. Considering that winning a Pokemon Showcase is actually quite difficult if you go into it blindly, I do think there are a couple of things that you could do to win a lot more showcases and getting more premium items. So let's get right into it. The first tip that I have to tell you, this one is actually really obvious when it comes to this feature. Make sure you save every single XXL Pokemon that you come across because a vast majority of Pokemon showcases is in regard to the largest size of a particular Pokemon. Even if the XXL Pokemon that you catch is not part of the current Pokemon Showcase, you should still hold on to it and make sure you label it with XXL and favorite it so that you do not accidentally transfer it away. Fortunately, Niantic did put in a couple of failsafes so that you do not mass transfer XXL Pokemon, but if you're like me and you do a lot of mass transferring during the day, make sure you make a habit of excluding XXL Pokemon whenever the prompt comes up. Now the next tip that I have is is actually quite important. Make sure you mark every single Pokestop that has a Pokemon Showcase whenever there is one active. Not every Pokestop is going to have a Pokemon Showcase, but there's going to be quite a few in your area that will always have a Pokemon Showcase whenever there is one active. You will also want to take note of where those Pokestops are. Are they going to be in highly populated areas like shopping malls and college campuses? Maybe you will want to avoid putting your Pokemon into those. You will also want to look for Pokestops where it's going to be in a more remote area. Those are the Pokestops that are typically not going to have a lot of entries and they're basically going to be easy wins. This leads me to the third tip. As you're engaging with Pokemon Showcases, make sure you take note of which Pokestops give you the wins more often. Those are the Pokestops that you will want to focus on, because when it comes to every single Pokemon Showcase, there's going to be a few Pokestops that's not going to have a lot of entries, and those are the ones that you will want to submit your Pokemon into. Because you're not going to have a lot of competition, it's going to be a lot easier for you to win them. Moving along, the fourth point is actually going to be important as well. Make sure you make note of when the Pokemon Showcase is going to end. Typically, a lot of showcases will end at the end point of an in-game event, so make sure you're paying attention to that because as you get closer to the end of that showcase, it's going to be the best time to actually enter your Pokemon. You do not want to enter the Pokemon early on because players are going to find that they're either ranked below you or higher than you, and they're going to make adjustments to whatever Pokemon they submit. Rather than allowing other players to make adjustments, you will want to be the one to catch out other players. By submitting Pokemon much closer to the endpoint, you're going to be able to submit more higher ranked Pokemon and make adjustments before any other player does. And then this leads me to the fifth and final tip of this video, and that is to make a lot of adjustments and be very active with those specific Pokestops. Do not just simply submit a Pokemon and completely ignore it. You will want to manage what Pokestops you submit your Pokemon into. And something to keep in mind is that once you have three submissions, you will not be able to make any adjustments. 
So make sure you focus on two Pokestops at a time and then put in a third one at the very tail end. But for those two Pokestops, make sure you're paying attention to where your Pokemon ranks as more entries fly in. If you find your Pokemon going down in the ranks, then what you will want to do is go back to that Pokestop and put in a Pokemon with a much higher point value. If you do not have a Pokemon with a higher point value, then you will want to go to another Pokestop with less entries and put your Pokemon into that one instead. If you want to take one of your Pokemon out of a current Pokemon Showcase, all you simply have to do is go to a different Pokemon Showcase, then click on the button right below the Submit button that asks you to use a different Pokemon. It's going to pull up a list of all the Pokemon of the showcased Pokemon in your collection, including the one that you put into the other Showcase. You could then use that Pokemon into this new Showcase, and you're going to remove your Pokemon from the other Showcase. I don't know if that makes sense and if you're following, but but that is how you can remove a Pokemon from a losing showcase. So yeah, these are the five tips that I've been using when it comes to Pokemon showcases, and I've been consistently getting in the top three ranks. Those are the ranks that are going to give you the absolute best rewards. And if you're able to get rank one in showcases consistently, you're gonna get a lot of really good premium items. And yeah, I'm going to add a sixth tip, and this one's going to be self-explanatory. Just simply engage with Pokemon showcases. Make sure you're doing them even if you're not winning, because as you're engaging with more Pokemon showcases, you're still going to be collecting rewards for doing very little effort. Yeah, Pokemon showcases is something you should not ignore. It's a great way for you to make your Pokemon Go experience a lot better, and you're not really doing much in order to get those rewards. But yeah, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts regarding Pokemon showcases down below. Is there a particular strategy or tip that you are using to win more Pokemon showcases? Definitely share those and let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. If you found it to be helpful and informative, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then make sure you go and check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way within Pokemon Go, like with remote raids or the friendship system, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel non-monetarily, you could always do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Count Jinsula, and I'm on the following platforms. Alright, and with that said, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.